Hi, it's Robert Murray, and welcome to this week's Leadership Minute, the one-minute video blog where I've got a very, very short period of time to answer a question from leaders just like you. So it's January, and um, keep keeping with the theme of what we're going to be talking about in January, talk, let's talk about goals and personal goals. And this week I want to talk about keeping it really, really simple. One of the things I notice about leaders when I work with them and we get into doing their personal plan, uh, they make it way too complicated. Just like in business, they, they make their personal lives way too complicated as well. So when you're building your personal uh, life plan or goal plan for the year 2019, here's what I want you to focus on. I want you to focus on uh, building a list first and foremost. So just build a list. Don't worry about anything else. Just write down uh, all the things that you would like to accomplish this year. Make sure that you've got some uh, coverage for your career, uh, your personal life, for relationships, uh, for, for financial, uh, health and fitness, and spiritual as well. Now the next thing I want you to do is to look at all of the different categories of all the information that you put down and just pick one from each category. Just one. Uh, and I realize there might be a whole bunch of other things, but there's one there that's the most important. And then write that down. So now you've got five or six things you're going to be working on that's balanced in your life uh, for your career, for personal, for relationships, uh, for health and fitness, uh, financial. And the next thing that I want you to do is to then make sure that whatever it is that you've written down there is measurable. You have a way to understand that uh, this is where I'd like to finish off and know that this goal is done so I can check it off. And the final thing that I want you to focus on is when you do check that goal off, how are you going to reward yourself? This is one of the things I find about working with high performers and high achievers is that they're very, very goal focused and very, very, um, you know, like driven to check off that goal. Uh, but they fail to recognize when they've actually achieved it because they don't uh, have some type of an event or you know, they don't reward themselves somehow. And it doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to go out and buy yourself a Rolex watch for achieving your goal. It might be a dinner out, a, a special bottle of wine, um, treat yourself to the spa or a massage. Just something so you can take that little bit of time and say, I did this and this is the reward that comes from it. That's it for this week. Until next week, take care. Get to work on building your personal plan, your life plan for 2019. And I'll check in with you next week. Thank you.